Hello, welcome back. Geometry Angle Properties of Circles. Let's first see the first property. Property number one the central angle or the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc or a code is twice that of the inscribed angle or the angle subtended by the arc or the code on any point of the remaining part of the circle. What does this mean? Central angle is the angle subtended by this code which is in green or the arc which is in red. Basically the distance from here to here is same so that will subtend an angle to theta with center which is called the central angle and the inscribed angle is the angle subtended in the remaining part of the circle. This is the arc and the remaining part is this one in purple. So the angle subtended in the remaining part of the circle is this one. This is equal to theta. So that's a property. That means if this angle is 2 theta, this angle is half of that. Central angle is 2 theta, inscribed angle sh should be theta. Let's see property 2. Uh, the inscribed angle due to a code through the center of the circle is 90 degrees. So in this particular case, the code is going through the center. So that means it is something like this. So it is it will become a diameter here. So the code subtend angle here, so it's called inscribed angle, which is 90 degrees. So wherever you can draw a line, draw a triangle, so you can get, you will always get 90 degrees here. So if you draw here, and you still get 90 degrees. This is the, this property two. And property three, the inscribed angle subtended by the same arc or the same code are equal. So these are inscribed angles subtended by the same arc or the same code are equal. So in this case, the arc is in red, code is in green. So if you draw it, the inscribed angles, the angles will become equal, theta. So you can draw any to any part of the circle but the not the part not the part where the arc is the opposite side so we'll get the angle theta so that will be same for the other side but that will be a different angle if you plot this one here and property number four last property that we are going to look at here the sum of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees. Cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral which will uh, which has its vertices lies on vertices lie on a circle. So this is a quadri cyclic quadrilateral. So the point the vertices are on the circle. And in this particular case the angles the opposite angles if you add them it will become equal to 180 degrees. That means Theta plus gamma is equal to 180 degrees and delta plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees. So, so you can draw this quadrilateral any any way you like, but as long as the, the vertices lie on the circle, this will hold. That means the the opposite angles, when you add them, it will become 180 degrees. That's the end of the lesson.